Four and a half thousand years ago, the little-known Dilmun civilization plied its trade along the eastern coasts of Arabia. Dilmun aqdam mamlaka arifat fil jazeera arabiya shahadat alayha al nusus al sumeriya. بعد ذلك أصبحت مملكة لها باع طويل في الاقتصاد العالمي عبر نقل التوابل وعبر نقل المواد الخام الحديد والمعادن الأخرى Archaeologists believe that Dilmun traded with the Harappan civilization in today's Pakistan as well as bringing copper from present-day Oman to Mesopotamia Today's island of Tarut is an ancient Dilmun site. This statue was found there and dates from around 2500 BC. It's believed to have been sculpted in Tarut, but heavily influenced by Mesopotamian style. Even further back in time, Dr. Philip Drexler believes that Arabia's eastern coast was inhabited over several thousand years before Dilmun. Much of his fieldwork is based on stone artifacts. But dating them is notoriously difficult. It's very hard to date them because you have only the artifacts themselves and um, they seldom speak very clearly to you. So it's possible to, to study their shape and their technology, but similar shapes and technology appear during different periods in time. This seemingly unremarkable stone is in fact a rough blade made of obsidian, a type of volcanic glass. Several pieces have been found here. But their place of origin came as a surprise. We gave them for geochemical analysis um, to a specialist. This um, specialist was able to identify the sources of this obsidian in central Anatolia. So these pieces traveled a very long way towards the central Gulf area. Some scholars believe that Kariat al Fau had a port on Arabia's Gulf Coast. According to Roman historians, it was called Jera. But its location is still uncertain. One possibility is the remote Alu Care region. Others have suggested Thaj, inland from the oil fields of Daman. One thing is for sure, Thaj yielded a spectacular tomb find in 1998. The tomb was covered with stone, slab stones, and they opened it, but they found something very precious inside they never expected. They found a coffin for a young girl. There was a necklace, bracelet, golden hand. She was covered in the gold. And the final detail, the enigmatic mask of a long dead princess.